And speaking of having things or not having things. Hear ye, hear ye. The great Grox Destroyer has come to our humble village. You will give him your utmost attention. That is all. God bless. Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode on the fabulous BBCraft server. And if you do not know why it is called BBCraft, it is for Baby Biomes Craft, as in Forest, Forest, Extreme Hills Biome, Forest, Ocean, Island, you know, all the biomes have been scaled down, um, which makes it kind of cool. Probably won't do it again, but it was an interesting idea. So, what I am building here, and I wanted to show you guys before I was completely done with it, is a sugar cube. So, after I started planning out this thing, I thought that probably wasn't going to really work anywhere. Because the ground will eventually be covered with snow and probably carpets or something like that. To prevent mob spawning and then this thing is going to be a giant either white and red pillar or white and red bleh, not sugar cane just um candy cane candy cane that's what it's called anyway so this will probably just blend in but you know it it doesn't need to be glorious or anything but I do definitely want to have it and speaking of having things or not having things you might notice a lack of Elytra. And that is because of last episode. And if you haven't seen that, be sure to watch it. <coughs> I have been reorganizing my shulker boxes from that. Um, these are actually just re-dyed ones. I believe this one's actually from that end raid. So be sure to check that out. But I got some more packed ice for this thing, so it's going to be a sugarcane farm, and maybe, as I said a few episodes ago, maybe a cool little, what do you call it, mini game called Sugar Rush. I might do that, or I might not do that. It just, it just basically depends on how quickly Christmas approaches, and how much stuff, school stuff, I have to do, and all of that whether I will simply have the time to design and do everything. Speaking of, I've been working very, very diligently, believe me, on my fully automatic, amazing potion brewing um, system, which will, believe me, it, it will be completely amazing. Um, I will try to remember to link videos down in the description, but you know how well I do with that, so be sure to remind me, that way I can show you guys that, because it is an awesome tutorial. Um, I have some TNT for something else, but yeah, mainly just a bunch of pistons, some redstone, hop timer, um, fairly simple stuff actually, it's really well done, it's by Mumbo Jumbo a few years back. So I'm going to build that and that means that when I get my Elytra again, I will actually be able to have practically infinite rocket supplies, which will be very useful indeed, even though this farm needs to be turned off so that chunk loading error things don't happen, but it does work just fine, it's just I can't really get up there because I don't have my Elytra and I don't intend to pillar the, I believe, maybe a hundred blocks high this thing is. So I don't exactly want to do that. So I'm just going to wait, essentially, until I can do another end rating session or whatever and get some Elytra back. But anyway, that is all I wanted to show you guys. See ya. Oh, crafting tree, oh, crafting tree, how lovely are thy branches. Okay, I was going to actually craft something. Oh, of course, a repeater, because I need another one, because I'm building this in a weird area, and so I needed to modify 
Mumbo's Redstone a bit. Well, not modify it much, but you know, because I know I know a fair amount of Redstone, so um, I know what he's trying to do and everything. So I just need to go down here, do that, and get that ready for the next thing. But I have, as you can see, built I believe another yeah another three layers. Um, I do not want to jump off this thing because since I have no Elytra, I have to pillar up and down every time I want to get out of this thing. It's terrible. Okay, I only built two so far, but that's okay. That's okay. Um, it will definitely be plenty when this thing is done, and I think I'll build a third one, and then maybe one over here, even though now that I think about it, that will not be a thing, because I forgot that the redstone had to be, like, outside here that's why there's this part here which I don't know whether to move this out I think I might have to then it won't be a sugar cube anymore it'll be a sugar rectangle so I'll have to do other stuff to make it a perfect sugar cube which will be amazing but that's that's my problem guys Okay, so I just came back to say that I'm almost done with this, just need to put in the timer. And I could build more layers, but I I really want to do something else, probably like get the sorting system done, all of that, and then I also I also want to as soon as possible give my freaking Elytra back. On my back. That way I can take off into the skies and everything because man, um, I, I should have used horses, but I've, I've just been swimming across with my Depth Strider 3 booties of peace, which by the way, I want to get the ones on everything. I do. I just feel like doing that. And also in the previous episode, I accidentally put these on that I got from end rating and the hilarious thing is... I'm actually completely fine with that because I normally have fire protection for on my pants and the only difference is that I don't have mending on it. I might actually put mending on it because it shouldn't matter so this will effectively be a backup pair of pants that I just got pretty much by chance and by blessing which is amazing. So, I will work to finish this up. Another thing, which I believe I said earlier in the last clip, but I just want to definitely re reiterate to you that um, I cannot really activate this farm because I'd have to pillow up, activate it, pillow down, or do an AFK session there. Which actually might not be a bad idea, but anyway, because all of the drops are being put up there and I do not want to mess with any of this because it's working just fine so it all points to I need Elytra and I need backup Elytra lots of backup Elytra and also I need to do some more AFK fishing and I need to do some more fixing up of the candy fish and actually get that whole lake part there, the frozen lake there that I told you about earlier, earlier, I believe it was several episodes back now, I need to actually finish that, but I definitely wanted to have this thing done. So, funny thing, I was actually going to put iron pressure plates over there, weighted pressure plates, to make it look fancy, but one, dirt doesn't look fancy, and two, um, when the items fell on the pressure plate, it actually locked the hopper, so it wouldn't be able, so the items weren't able to go in, which was kind of hilarious and very sad, so I took all of that out, and it works just fine. Anyway, I have talked for too long. For this clip, I will show you guys when this is done. Okay everyone, this is what it is looking like right now. Let me get my torches out so that way, trust me, I do not want anything to spawn in here and then I did two like this and then two like this. Okay, okay. So this is how the farm is looking right now. That's concerning. 
Um, but anyway, this is where the sugar cane will be. This is a crafting table, and there will be an end chest here. That way, I can just take out my actually not my concrete box, but my flight box. Turn everything, turn all sugar cane into paper. Make some um, rockets for myself when I get Elytra again, and that was not what I meant to do. That was also not what I meant to do, so now I don't have any water to get out of here, because that's why I have a bucket on me, is so that I can get out of here by water pillowing up. But anyway, that is what I have done so far. I intend to make more layers, as this, is, this has actually been producing a fair amount of sugarcane, but until then, I intend to work on something different just to let you know that this thing is up and running and I kind of don't want to see it again for a while because I've been working on this for a fair amount of time. So anyway, goodbye. Okay everyone, getting away from that thing, I have started my cactus farm which will be amazing. And I will not spoil it for anyone, and if anyone does spoil it, I will be very angry. But anyway, um, it will be awesome, trust me. This is the actual cactus farm, the rest will be for decoration. So currently, I'm putting up some temporary blocks, which will be here for a while, because I need another farm that a server mate has to finish this up. But yeah, I just wanted to share this with you guys. I built it a bit taller than I did in my testing world, but I think that will make it actually a lot better. So, see you guys in the next clip. Okay everyone, I am over at DGBJ Drill's place. I have been, well, we have been mining out this huge area. He did most of the work, but I've been shaving down five on each side everything and we found diamonds yeah so you know what's the best thing to do with diamonds is throw them in lava ah uh, I, I I just that that's really where they need to go that's really where they need to go anyway back to work hello everyone so I have been doing a lot of work on DGBJ drills slime farm and that is mainly because um well, as I believe I've said earlier, in exchange for my help working on this, I'll be able to use this infinitely, and I won't have to give him anything extra, really, which is a really good deal for me and for him. But, there were a bunch of holes in here, because when you enter the mine, sometimes you miss. And thankfully, um, they're all filled in now, because I went in, pillowed up, pillowed down, pillow up, pillow down, and fill them in. Some of them, I have to admit, I kind of um, did, maybe not by pillowing, but either way, they are all filled in, except this, I don't quite know what to do. I think I'll fill it in anyway. I died once, and I stupidly threw down Ivanova 3. <sighs> I tell you, man, I... I make a new bow. I say, you know what? This is the time that I'm not going to waste my bow, not going to lose it. And I lose it. So, that was dumb. But, um, one thing to note. No, I cannot take a fall from up here down to there. But from there down to there, I actually can take the fall with feather falling, which is... Pretty amazing. Um, yes, I did die, and of course I slapped back on my curse binding because I was very much in a rush to get that done. That is actually a spider spawner, so I'm going to leave that open. That way he knows where that is. I believe that's why he's left that deliberately open down there. But the rest had to be filled in for efficiency reasons. That way the game wouldn't try to search for other places for hostile mobs. Fill up the hostile mob cap and everything like that. But yeah, just to tell you that this is done and this is what I have been doing a bit. Um, DGBJ Drill and myself met in real life, played on server together for Thanksgiving, which today is. So 
That's kind of cool. Happy Thanksgiving. It's probably late by now, and that zombie does not feel the holiday spirit, obviously, so I'll jump into here. But, yeah, this thing is going to look very cool, and I was thinking of maybe for decoration, DGBJ Drill could line the walls with, um, slime heads? No. No, no, no. Even though that would be kind of cool. But line the walls with, um, what do you call it? Slime blocks, which would, I think, be really cool. So that means that this is definitely working, and I've definitely seen some large slimes down here, so this is definitely a slime chunk. Everything with that is good, and I just realized that those few holes, which actually gives me, would have given me a good opportunity to show you how I do it, but anyway, I just pull up, go around, um, put the block in, pillow back down, you know, it, it's, it's tedious work, but it will definitely pay off in the insane efficiency of this farm. Um, DGBJ Drill has chosen to use the Omango design of this farm, which I prefer as well, so this will be another place for me to AFK at, to get a bunch of slime, and excess slime is never a bad thing in my opinion. So that is all I wanted to tell you guys. I would have shown you more of the progress, but it's really boring, really grindy, and I don't think you guys were particularly liked it. So that is done there. Another idea is to have a mode where it flushes all the slimes into an area where you can use a fortune 3 sword not only for more drops but also for slime head chance and more importantly for a XP grinder which in my opinion it's always good to have multiple forms of XP grinding this is the life without Elytra when you have a super tall mob farm and you think to yourself you know what I'm going to put all of the drops, <sighs> and you think to yourself, I'm going to put all of the drops at the top of my mob farm, because that will be the most successful by Elytra, and it will be totally the most convenient thing. <sighs> so, um, the AFK spot is up here, believe me. And so I'm going to pull up here, do a bit of a small AFK session because I want to blow out the portion, you can't really see it because of render distance, but blow out the portion of stone underneath the iron farm to get ready for something that will be really cool and I think you guys will love. Um, yeah, I haven't really AFK'd up here in a while and I just remembered. I just remembered I can't really do this because I have to go down and turn the thing on and then pillow up for safety. Which I am glad that I have this safety protocol thing because otherwise chunk loading would make this thing really impossible to debug, especially without freaking Elytra. So I take this off, which will push, yeah, which will pull that up, which will get the whole thing started again. And then I just need to do a little dirt pillow, take all this dirt out, and then pillow all the way back up. Now, yes, I could have an elevator here, like a minecart elevator would be fairly simple, but I don't want to waste a bunch of time building an elevator, get my Elytra back, and never use it. So, I am very torn on whether to build one or not. I don't believe I am going to build one just for that reason alone. Um, there we go. So, yeah, I suppose my life is going to be up here for a few hours of AFK. I also chucked some glass up here, which I probably won't need for a while, but anyway. Sorry that this episode has been kind of all over the place, but trust me, I'm working on that working on this working on a bunch of different things yeah I have a Elytra let's call it Elytra heavy base um I have been swimming and walking everywhere 
currently, which probably wasn't smart thing considering that I have tons of horses and there's gunpowder flowing in, so this thing is working just fine. Um, yeah, look at all those items, but anyway, um, yeah, I do have horses, and if this does, like, if I do not have my Elytra soon, then I will definitely, ooh, slime down there, sorry, then I will definitely be setting up a little Pony Express thing, that way I can just ride around, and then of course I have elevators to places like this. And another thing, I do intend to have a lever or button or something. Actually, probably a door. A door that you go into up at the top here. And then when you go through the door, it shuts behind you, activates that, turns on the farm. And then when you leave, it turns... No. When you go in, it turns on the farm. When you go off, it turns off the farm. And that will just make it so much easier if I barter this to someone, or especially using it myself. Just not having to worry about chunk loading errors will be amazing. Now, as I said in the previous clip, you could just barely see the sugarcane farm that we built together over there. Is probably not going to have any chunk loading errors. This thing is definitely not. This thing definitely is not going to have to worry about that. Fish isn't going to have to worry about that. Diaphone doesn't have to worry. The El Mango Jalapeno. I don't know. I don't believe so. Because hopefully the chunks that it's in will be unloaded at the same time. But. Anyway, that is all I have for now. So yeah, I have been mining a bunch of sand, and of course I have that desert. I have I have tons of freaking deserts, and I almost jumped off there. Whew. So I have tons of freaking deserts to mine out. I have tons of gravel, because on the server we have turned up gravel um, spawning, which is amazing. Super, super helpful. You have some more bones. Um, but yeah, that is pretty much life without Elytra. I, I can make everything Elytra handicap accessible, but I am I am on the fence right now about making things Elytra accessible on my base or not. Now my next base, which I have just had an excellent idea for, will, well, let's just say if you're working on it, you definitely want to have a later, but if you don't, then you'll probably fall into a and die, but anyway, um, that is all I wanted to tell you guys, and actually pillowing up here isn't that painful. Um, as you just saw, you, you basically spam blocks below you, you jump up, and then when I'm done, I'll just take myself down with Sonic. Also, I was mining out some magma blocks for the slime farm in DGBJ drill space, and I broke my backup pick that I used to break choker boxes, so that is kind of sad. It was an iron pickaxe, but it was also mending, so I should have, like, remended it and kept it good and everything, but oh well. So, yeah, if you enjoyed this video, then please sure to hit the like button, and if you really loved it, make sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next one. Goodbye.